Hi, I'm Ken McKay. I make electric guitars. I've been making them for about 10 years. I call them Ken McKay guitars. I make semi-hollow electric guitars. And uh, I've been doing that for about 10 years here. I'm in Detroit, Michigan. As far as training goes, it took me quite a while before I felt like I had a handle on this. There's a lot to it. Making electric guitars, there's electronics, there's woodworking. Uh, the design work is incredible. You have to have the, the kind of eye for design. I learned that when I went to woodworking school. I went to wood carving school and uh, I was taught by a British master how to draw and uh, dr draw a sweet line, things like that. Just uh, my eye guides me now. Uh, it's kind of like a yes or no thing if I draw something out, if it's, if it's right or not. I sold my first instrument maybe 20 years ago. It was an acoustic guitar. That got me pretty excited. Uh, after that, I, I got into electric instruments uh, because that is really what I played and I, I was really intimidated by them because I didn't want to make a bad one. But uh, I just kept trying and trying and eventually I got to where I thought they were pretty good. Customers are all over the world, from professional musicians to uh, studio musicians, and and then there's a lot of guitar players that are very interested in really great instruments, and they order them from me. This is a guitar I have in progress right now. Um, every single piece of this guitar, every part, was made, handmade by me and uh, my son Quinn and my son Sean made a, a couple things. This one is a look-alike to that one and this one here is an original instrument that I'm doing a, a, what we call a restoration on and so I'm repairing this getting it back to original playing shape. My guitars range from $4,000 to $10,000. Players will come to me and ask me for a specific thing, uh, a specific dimension, or for example they might want one that is just like something that was made in the 50s, and that's kind of what I specialize in, something that was before, and they want it to be exactly like that. Young people can go to schools. There's at least two schools I know of in Michigan. There are uh, schools throughout the country, trade schools. You'd be surprised how much, how responsive someone who is a, a, in my position would be to a young person approaching them and asking them if they can watch and observe and maybe learn something. Musicians look for something that is absolutely right in an instrument. They want it to play right, they want it to resonate right. When they move their hand from here to here they want that note to sound good, that note to sound good, they want their hand to be positioned correctly, they don't want to struggle. Uh, that's something you won't see, you won't be able to identify because the musician will make it look easy. But the struggle is within the musician that's making the notes and so me as a maker, I have to make something that will go unsaid. Nobody will ever notice it. 
that it's easy for this person to play and that they're not struggling.